Hey guys, it's Blake. What is up? I told you guys I want to do some some gameplay of three games for Don Hearthstone and ESO. Well, here's Hearthstone. So, uh, if you haven't played this game, it's a card game. You know, if you see, for example, you have cards you can unlock and use. And if you have not played Hearthstone yet, let me know, um, and I will uh, send you a link to some beginner videos if you are interested in getting into the game, or you can just look them up yourself. I mean, either or. Anything works, really. Uh, so, what I'm going to do today uh, is do an arena run. This, this is where you pick your own cards uh, from a random selection that they give you. Um, and you make a run at uh, getting a certain amount of wins. The more wins you get, the better the prizes. And, yeah, it's kind of challenging. And it's a good way to get more for your gold, essentially. Uh, also, I didn't mention this game is completely free to play if you've... If you know nothing of Hearthstone at this point. So, you just pay your gold. And, uh, yeah. So, arena run time. Um, okay. So, out of the three of these guys, um, I'm going to take a look real quick to see what my quest log says I need to get uh, wins against. Um, Alright. So, it says priest, priest victory, uh, priest or warlock victory. So, I'm probably going to go with the priest or the warlock here in the arena just so maybe I can fulfill some of those quests and get some extra gold on the side. So, um, hmm. Priest or Warlock? Um, jeez, I'm having a brain fart. Okay, yes, Priest or Warlock. <laughs> Alright, so, out of the Priest or Warlock, I'm probably gonna go with the Warlock. I'm a little more familiar with how to build a Warlock deck. You know, you gotta put a lot of demons in there, you gotta do, um, a lot of spells, and uh, his hero ability, I mean, the Priest, it's kinda on and off, you know, he, his, the Warlock takes away two of his health, the Priest gives him two health, so... It's kind of toss up there. Um, I'm gonna go with the warlock. I'll probably regret this, but uh, right here from the start, we start with a uh, we start with a uh, legendary card. So I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do Harrison Jones. I mean, it's a fun card, but it's kind of it's kind of iffy. Mally goes isn't really the best. The best either, and neither is Leroy Jenkins. Um, Leroy Jenkins has that charge though, even though he summons the two whelps. Um, he does do a lot of damage right off the bat. Um, and he's only, I'm gonna go with Leroy. Also, he's Leroy Jenkins, so it's kind of, you know, it's kind of a no brainer. Now, I'm gonna be looking for mostly, um, demons if I can pick them and, uh, spell cards. But out of here, there's no demons or spell cards, so I'm gonna go with the Earthring Farseer, just because the restoring three health will be really be useful with my uh, draw card ability that takes two health from me. Out of these three, although I said you know the health is useful, Fairy Dragon is a really powerful card. As as is Dire Wolf Alpha, Priestess of Elune's good too, but I'm gonna try to build a kind of lower lower mana deck. So I'm gonna go with the Fairy Dragon because I find it really tough for the other guy to deal with. Um, here we got the Gorehound. He's kind of weak because of the five, uh, the five damage he can take. So I mean, you can play some cards that are way worse than him and destroy him in one hit. Uh, Bluegill Warrior is okay for a rush deck, but I'm gonna go with Shattered Sun Cleric to get that little one-one boost that will be useful. All right. So out of these three, mm, the spell damage will be useful from the the Kobold. But, uh, same with the Priestess, it's kind of iffy, the, the, the price per, for the health it, it restores to you, but Nightblade, I mean, ultimately, is effective if you're going for a deck that's straight hero damage, and it's kind of an expensive card for a 4-4, so I'm gonna go against my better judgment and take the Priestess, just for that healing that might come and help me, you know, later in the game. Alright, so, if I was building a Rush deck, for example, the Flesh Eating Ghoul would be a great pick, um... Demon Fire would be a good card if I had some demons. Um, and Jungle Panther is a good card overall because it's got the stealth and it's pretty much a guaranteed 4 damage unless they play an area um, spell card. So I'm going to pick. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go with the Flesh Eating Ghoul. You know, why not? Um, Alright, so I'm still not getting any demons, which is kind of tough when you're playing a Warlock deck. Because, um, you know, Warlock works really well with this energy with uh, with demons. But, uh, 
I'm gonna go with uh, Ged Gedgetson Auctioneer because, you know, whenever he casts a spell, you draw a card. Although I have no spells yet, but okay. So Flame Imp versus Corruption versus Murloc Tidehunter. Tidehunter I would not pick because they can pretty much erase him and his uh, spawn with one card. So many characters can do that. Um, so I'm gonna go with the Flame Imp just because I want more demons in my deck. Um, all right, so this is, uh, I, don't, I won't have a weapon, so Spiteful Smith is kind of useless. Dragonling mechanics, okay, but I'm going to go with Sense Demons in the hope that I will get more demons in this whole this whole deal. Uh, this is a good card, Shadow Flame, but I'm going to go with Doom Guard because I'm going for the demons, although Sun Fury Protector is a very solid card at giving two minions taunt. I'm going with Doom Guard. Summoning Portal, Magma Rager, Stormwind Champion. Um, you know, you can't really go wrong with Summoning Portal. Or Stormwind Champion, so I'm going with Summoning Portal. Uh, let's see. Out of these three, you got all these cards are good right here. Um, he would Guru Bashi Berserker would be a no-brainer with the Priest, but um, he's not necessarily as good with the Warlock who can't really heal him too easily. Um, although I do have a couple of cards that could work uh, with him in some kind of synergy. Um, but I also do like the Venture Kill Mercenary just because, you know, this played with, for example, the Summoning Portal will be a really cheap card and it really won't affect my other cards too much. So, um, but also the Wolf Rider is really good for removal. If you need to, like, get rid of a guy with three health, just play your Wolf Rider, that guy's gone. I'm going to go with uh, the Venture Kill Mercenary, though, because I just like his 7-6 for 5. It's a really good value. Um, I'm gonna go with the Kobold here because I have no real use for the Spiteful Smith and Stone Tusk Boar is kind of, kind of wimpy. Alright, so this is a little tougher. I really love the Leper Gnome. He's a lot of fun, you know, because he deals 2 damage when he dies to the enemy and it really forces them not to attack him even though they really want to. And if they're smart, they get rid of him the first chance they can. But, you know, that's a good way to make them lose a spell card or if they're a mage use their ability and waste two mana crystals but i'm going to take a drain life because i need more spells in this deck um siphon soul is a very good spell but so is defender of argus defender of argus is a really good card because it you know enhances the two on the sides of it crazy alchemist swap that heck and health of minion um gee uh, uh, this one is a little more useful for example with with uh the priest deck um I'm going to go with Siphon Soul just because I'm going to need some significant removal. Uh, Shadow Bolt or Void Walker. I really want the demons. I'll probably get another Shadow Bolt uh, option, so I'm going to take the Void Walker. Uh, Sacrificial Pact, destroy a demon, restore 5 health here. Uh, I'm going to want to conserve my demons, more or less. So I'll take the Void Walker again. Um, Flame Imp or Corruption or Frost Wolf Warlord. Frost Wolf could end up being good with this deck. I have a lot of low, low value cards: the the Imp, the Void Walker, the Fairies, the Kobold, uh, and and uh, Ring Farseer, Flesh Eating Ghoul. I have I have plenty of minions below three mana crystals, which would make Frost Wolf very viable. But I'm gonna go with the Flame Imp. I mean, I'm probably very wrong with that, but I really want to get as many demons in this deck as possible, so that when I draw, where's that card? Um, when I draw a card like Sense Demons, I can you know, get something I need. Uh, so here, it's kind of a crapshoot. Um, Dragonhawk's okay, but it can be removed really easily. Murloc Tidehunter, same thing. Um, Iron Beak Owl at least will silence somebody on his way out, so I'm gonna go with the Iron Beak. Uh, out of these three, uh, the Ancient Watcher I could probably use with the Iron Beak Owl to make it a 4-5-2. Uh, and I could actually make it a I could end up summoning two monsters, or two, two beasts, minions, whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna pick the Ancient Watcher just because he's a guy you can kind of just put out there and do stuff to. Um, Secret Keeper. I'm, I don't have any secrets in my deck. Pine Size Summoner, first minion. Uh, durability from your weapon. This is the only one that makes any sense with this deck, so I'm gonna have to go with the Pine Size Summoner. Uh, kind of a shitty rare, 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 rare group there. Um. Out of these, these three, I don't really like any of them. The Frost Elemental is really strong in terms of uh, freezing characters and, you know, turning the game if, if they don't attack it. But uh, the Goldshire Footman is 
kind of weak and this he's very weak in terms of attack but he will stay out there for a while and it'll be kind of a pain in the butt for the other team or the other player to get rid of him to attack you and I do need some four drops um, Frostamontal is really really good though um, I'm gonna take Frost Elemental uh, okay so here we got kind of a tougher choice here corruption is not a good card I mean it's an okay card but it's not a good card because it destroys the minion at the start of their next turn so they're gonna use that minion to do crazy things you know they're gonna either attack you or destroy minions that they wouldn't normally attack so I don't really like corruption just because it kind of forces the other guy's hand and I mean that's a good thing in some instances like if you have a secret but if you don't have a secret corruption is kind of worthless because you know they'll just end up hurting you faster than they would have which I guess is okay but I, I don't like that card <laughs> I don't know um, I'm gonna take the cleric again uh, mad bomber love the bad bomber he's a lot of fun Lord of the arena I'm not gonna need somebody that 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 tough with the way this deck is being built I'm gonna go with uh, mad bomber just because I can't get enough of him um, I already have two flame imps. I really don't want to take a third. Sense Demons is a good card. So is Soul Fire. Um, uh, I might need a little more removal than draw cards here, so I'm gonna go with Soul Fire. Uh, okay, so speak of that. Um, Power Overwhelming is a great card because you know you could have a guy who's like a one-one, and you could remove somebody from the field using that card, and that's pretty effective for that. It's also effective for ending the game if you need to, you know, give somebody a quick boost to uh, knock out the rest of their health. Uh, Demon Fire with the amount of demons I have, you know, might actually be useful. You know, the Flame Imps and the Void Walkers would benefit greatly from a Demon Fire. But like I said, Shadow Bolt would show up again, and it did, so, um, well actually, it didn't show up to begin with, but it showed up there, whatever. <laughs> Shadow Bolt showed up again. It's a really solid card, deal 4 damage. Um, I'm gonna get Demon Fire though because it offers that flexibility. Um, okay, so that worked out because Soul Fire does the same amount of damage, but you discard a card. Um, I'm gonna go with Soul Fire just because I really need that removal. Um, even though Minion of Pain is really good, whatever his name is. Acolyte of Pain. Um, Alright, so this one's kind of tougher for me because I really love the Leper Gnome, as I said, but the Sentient Shield Master is really good and so is the novice engineer they're all really good solid cards um i'm gonna go with the leper gnome just because of the way my deck looks right now it's very uh one through three heavy uh right here i really like the ogre magi with a mage deck but it's a warlock deck and uh also in arena mode you don't know when a weapon's gonna show up so acidic swamp Blues is probably a smart choice so i can remove their weapons um Alright, so this is going to be my last card here. I really wish it gave me a little bit of a better selection with the demons. It never seems to with the, with the Warlock. Uh, I might go three and out because of that. But uh, let's see, you got the Ancient Mage. I don't like him too much. Um, even though that's a solid bu uh, buff for cards if you need to do if you need to play a spell. Um, at the end of the turn, you have another random friendly minion. Plus one health, that's good, but he, she's easily targeted and dealt with. As for the Abomination, deal 2 damage to all characters. I'm probably going to go with him just because I don't have any taunts, and that's a very good passive effect, or death rattle effect, I should say, that will, you know, destroy uh, the enemy field. So yeah, I'll go with the Abomination. Uh, I think this deck's okay. I've, I've definitely built better. Uh, next video, we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Hearthstone video. And uh, basically... If you guys want to see more Hearthstone videos than, you know, this this arena run that I'm doing now, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do some tutorials for Hearthstone, although I am not the most knowledgeable card player guy. But, I mean, if you want some opinions from a kind of novice uh, at card games, then, yeah, let me know. So, uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you all later.